Dogfish Head Beer. That's music to my ears, folks. I am the Mighty Plantain. Thanks for checking out this video. And we're actually looking at Beer to Drink Music 2, the 2017 release. It says here it's a tropical blonde, and it's an ale brewed with kiwi and hibiscus. Now, last year we saw Beer to Drink Music 2, uh, the first edition, and that was a, uh, a Belgian triple or triple. So it looks like they're going to keep the label, but change up the style every year. And uh, it says it's the official beer of Record Store Day. So it sounds like, again, yeah, it's, it's a bigger project, it's a bigger concept, and it's going to be released in coordination with this Record Store Day every year. It says here, this is a liquid soundtrack for welcoming warmer weather. Our blonde ale is a music-inspired tropical mashup brewed with kiwi juice and hibiscus flowers. So it sounds like every year they're going to do something a little different, musically inspired, and it's probably going to tie into this record store day um, in some way, shape, or form for a different musical style. So I'm not too, uh, not too familiar with that whole process or record store day. I don't buy a lot of music these days, and when I do, it's usually digital. Sorry. Just don't, uh, and, uh, buy singles. Anyway, let's check out the beer. Tropical Blonde Ale Brewed with Kiwi and Hibiscus. Now, I've seen hibiscus show up in a couple of beers before. It's not a common ingredient, but it usually works out pretty good. Alright, so we got a nice light beer. Maybe a, maybe a slight rosy tinge to it, but maybe not. Um, when I was pouring it out, it looked a little rosy and pink, but now it's settled. It looks like it's just a golden blonde. Quite clear. Slightly effervescent. Just a few bubbles coming up, but not very many at all. Not really getting much off of the aroma either. Not even a general beer aroma. It's very neutral there. Hmm. It's got a nice medium light mouthfeel. Kiwi in the finish. Nice medium light mouthfeel. Pretty floral up front. That's got to be the hibiscus. And they probably used a hop blend that complements it. Slightly sour in the middle there. And a nice finish of kiwi flavor. Hmm. I can see myself savoring this while listening to some music. Something easy listening, nothing too hard hitting or club style or anything like that. Definitely not heavy metal. Um, maybe some nice '90s um, slow pop music, you know, stuff about running through hallways and schools and back in the day we used to do this, that, and the other thing, that kind of stuff. Uh, names and songs and bands escape my escape me right now but uh, you know the kind of music I'm talking about and honestly I can enjoy this beer without any music at all um, it's not one that's really hitting home with me it is definitely a, a good beer and a unique flavor uh, something that I haven't had before with that hibiscus and floral up front a little bit of sourness in between in the middle but that's that's actually fading it's basically going straight from that floral hibiscus flavor right into the kiwi aftertaste now after a few sips so the fact that it had that up front and it's slightly evolving a little bit and getting a little few extra points um, I'm gonna hit this with a three out of five now bear in mind on that scale a two and a half is an average beer so I am enjoying this just a little bit more than your average beer 
because it's giving me a unique and different flavor that I haven't had before. But it's not necessarily blowing me away or impressing me or, or resonating with me on a personal level. And that's not something I'm going to go out of my way to get in the future. Although, I, you know, if it's on sale or if it's available um, at a party, I would grab it. And honestly, it's, it's a decent beer that I would definitely buy again. But I would probably try something new over getting this again. Which, you know what, it's probably not going to be available again after this year. Unless it's a huge hit and then they'll re-release it as, as a different label. because Or a different under a different name. Because it looks like the Beer to Drink Music 2 is going to get changed up every year. Um, and so anyway, that's just my opinion on the beer. I'm liking it, but I'm not crazy about it. Um. Uh, slightly above average overall experience for me. If you agree or disagree, I'd like to hear what you have to say, hit me up in the comments and the email link down below. Um, while you're down there, make sure to like the video, share it, and then subscribe to my feed. When you subscribe, you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. Hopefully you're getting some value out of them, giving you some information on what might be in your local beer cooler. Till next time, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for the beer, man. So, highly recommended by Extreme Beer Fest this weekend. We'll be able to get a hold of, I believe it's the American Cooper.